Hey guys, this is the Chic Monster here, uh, giving you a quick uh, behind the scenes look at how we are going to be putting together some of the characters. Uh, we've gone beyond the design stage now. The designs are pretty much set for the four protagonists of the game. So I'm going to show you sort of the process that I went through from beginning to end on how they become the sketch, uh, which I'll show you in a moment, to the finished uh, animation walking run cycles, which I'll also show you. And let me open that up to show you guys uh, concepts one. So today, today we're gonna we're gonna be oh my god I I can't talk today. Blah. Today we're gonna be doing Agent Green. Uh, I'm just gonna be showing you that. And so this is her original design, and then so I went and kind of drew in the basic pattern for all the girls. Um, you see they all have the same kind of a uh, base where they come from. So right here I'm doing a, a running cycle here. So they will run to the left and to the right. And you're going to see when I do the animation, I only do it in one direction. Because you can actually just flip all of the images to create the opposite direction running for them. And that's something that I'm going to make Salty do. So yeah, you won't see that. But I'll ask him to describe it to you for those of you who have an interest in coding. So maybe he can kind of put that um, together for you. So this is a run cycle that I did. Uh, so first I drew the bodies, which you can see underneath. And then I drew the skirts on top of them to just kind of map out how they're going to move. And I wanted them to kind of generally move in a sort of a loop so that they come back around and it's a really smooth running cycle. Uh, this one right here is a standing cycle. And so you can see that there. So this is when she's idle or when she's shooting. And that's the kind of pose that she's going to do. These are some extra arms that I drew. I just draw a couple of extra things just so that I don't have to go back and redraw anything. So I draw a bunch of arms bent. You'll notice there aren't any arms here. So I draw all the possible arms that I think I'm going to need uh, so that I can just kind of use them at, at my leisure. And down here we have the jump cycle. She pretty much stays the same the whole time. I do make the legs move a little bit so that it looks more fluid. But the big thing here that's actually moving is the skirt. Now, they're wearing, I mean, don't worry if you see butts here. There's, they're wearing like uh, leggings underneath, so it's, it's not too risque or anything before anybody freaks out. Okay, so that's what I do at first. And then I'm going to take this and bring it into Illustrator. And this is what you're seeing here. This is the second most important part. This, I will never have to do this again, but the illustrator thing I'll have to bring up many, many times, mostly to work on the head and, and the skin. So what you have here is, um, I've, I've taken everything, let me close all this. You see the original things, and then I'll just pick something that I want to start with. For example, the legs, and then I just kind of run with that. <laughs> run with that, get it? Uh, so yeah, the legs, I drew them as two separate, um, oh my, okay, let me pull this up for a second, there we go, so these are, oh, what did I do, these are separate, you can kind of pull and drag those around, like that, so that's what that is, mm, I'm sorry, I had to take a quick bite of my um my dried apricot here. It's really good. Yes, as I was saying, the legs are separate. Well, everything's separate. But originally, this was going to be green, and you'll see in the final rendering here that they're actually white. And I went back in and I changed that. Um, so this is just easier. So when I animate each girl, the body animation will remain exactly the same. That's what I was telling you guys about, how um, it's just a lot easier to make a bunch of these if the suits are all the same. So the suits are going to be white. The only thing that's going to be different is the color of the this little part here, the little skirt and the thing that goes over the top, and the heads and the skin. So, but so the major stuff that's happening here really isn't going to be touched, which is really, really helpful when you're animating a lot of things. But each girl will have their own separate animation, and towards the end, and it's just like a small animation, but it just adds a little bit of character. So that's what that's going to be. 
So I'm just kind of taking you through the process beginning to end. There will be a time when I'll have to animate something and you'll like actually see everything in detail. Uh, okay, so next we're going to take this into Flash. And we're going to go ahead and show you how I did that. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. Mm. So what I did was I imported the Illustrator file to Flash. Uh, I did the import to library and you'll see that all that stuff is there there's the background there I, I just decided to go ahead and leave that in and all of the different things and then on top of that I have uh, in a moment you'll see there we go in a moment you'll see all the stuff that I imported in and you'll see that I drew uh, the arms out and I changed the color of the legs. You'll see some of them are still green. Those are the ones that I didn't use. But what I did was I converted all of these to symbols uh, straight from here. And on the side you'll see that I have a very large list of all the symbols that I did there. And so in the future when I'm going to be animating different girls, all of those symbols, all I have to do is go in and change uh, the color like I did here and it will change for every uh, animation on the on the stage. So, for example, if I want to change the color of that skirt, I will I will change the color from green to like blue, for example, in, within the symbol. And since the symbol is used in the stage, then all all the animation frames will be changed. So that's a really quick and easy way to do. If you're doing a lot of stuff that's similar, and the only thing that's really different is like a palette change. For me, anyway, that's the easy way that I've discovered to do that. There's probably a better way of doing it, but I've never gotten around to it. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is show you how I got the arm animated, uh, and I'm just going to show you what, what, what happened there. So uh, I'm going to go back to the library stage and find one of the arms, something that I'm interested in doing. I'm thinking I'm going to use the straight arm, maybe? So she's like running... I don't know how that would work. No? Okay, maybe we'll use the bent arm. Bent arm's probably better. So what I'm going to go in is I'm going to make a, sec a second copy of these and put uh, the gun, because one arm is empty and the other hand has her little space ray gun. So I'm going to go into these, and this is a symbol, so I remember if I change this, then, then the whole thing will be changed. So I have to break it down and turn it into something different uh, so that I don't uh, mess it up. So I'm drawing the gun here in Flash. It's a really simple shape, just like a very clean and easy so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and put the put the gun in her hand and so just drag that in there um, seem to be having some kind of a trouble with the, the layerings so oh yeah when I select the the thing it's a symbol so if you hit control B that just breaks it down into its most basic components again that's just a nice little shortcut for you to remember Okay, so I've got the arm ready, and now I'm going to go into the timeline. Now, all the different moving parts are on their own layer, so I've created a new layer at the very bottom, because that's where the arm is, it's at the back. And then, uh, I'm going to go ahead and let that run, just to kind of get a refresher on what it looks like. So, the top arm is moving backwards, so at the same time that the top arm is moving backwards, I'm going to want the bottom arm, the back arm, to move forward. So you have sort of like that, uh, like she's running really hard. That, that's what when somebody runs one arm will go forward at the time one arm will go forward at a time so so I'm trying to imitate that here so all I have to do is drag that in place from the library uh, make sure that it's on the back arm layer and move the little white circle-y thing onto the shoulder that's a joint sort of so that every time you move it or rotate it it will move and rotate on that joint so if you move the little circle towards the joint where the elbow is at then you can kind of mess around with it there. And I'm going to make this a motion tween. You'll see all of that blue uh, tracks, that's when you convert it to a motion tween. And that just kind of does most of the work for you. It's a really nice thing to have. So I just start at one point. I've made that there. I see the arms going forward, so I'm trying to remember that. <laughs> that has to go back. So I'm going to drag that in, drag the arm backwards, like so. Give it a second here. And then I'm going to add that point. Now I'm going to go to a different point, probably, and, and swing it forward again. And it's really as easy as that. 
Okay, so that has been your tutorial of how all those things got taken care of. And that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I've been your host, The Sheik Monster, and we'll see you guys uh, next episode.